fee. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Brant Life. My name's Dave Carroll. Great to have you here. I'm the host of this show called Brant Life. It's a great show where we talk with interesting people inside Brantford, Brant County, Six Nations, and beyond, all about the interesting things that are happening in our lives. And that's what we're doing here today. So we've got some great guests, including uh, Brandy Franklin Totten, who is uh, here representing uh, Cancer Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is October. And uh, you are in the middle of quite a fight. I am. You were in the yes. middle of quite a fight. You gave yes. me a wristband, faith and courage, hope and strength, as you walked in. <laughs> Tell me why this is important to you. Uh, it's very important to me. My mom is a survivor. She had cancer 11 years ago, and she beat breast cancer. Um, and I just started this journey a couple months ago, so recently diagnosed, and have only just started one round of chemo so far. So I'm newly into this and uh, we lost my aunt and my grandmother to cancer as well so i thought i knew everything mm. and honestly i knew nothing <laughs> so um when i did find the lump i said to my husband if this is cancer i'm fighting loud because i'm tired of this our family has been through it so much so i'm just going to fight loud and ironically enough i'm fighting breast cancer and it's breast cancer and, awareness month <laughs> And you so. were telling me your husband's like, listen, I'm a quiet guy, <laughs> but you want to fight loud. Why do. do you want to fight loud? I just want to spread love and awareness. Um, I know my mom fought very quietly, but she had a lot of love. I come from a loving mm -hmm. family. I have a lot of support behind me. And I just want to share that and share awareness, um, spread the love with everybody else because it, it truly takes a village to fight this and like I said I thought I knew a lot I didn't know anything I didn't know what my family endured going through cancer until now and I've just started and it is terrible and I just want to share the good and the bad and um, give strength and hope to other people and let everybody know they're they're not alone I'm looking at your Facebook page right now called a journey of strength love and perseverance yes. Why did you create this page? I, I mean, obviously to be able to share the story, but why did you go, yeah, I want to I wanna take this step and share this story? I think I just want people to see everything, the, the good, the bad. There's a lot of support on there. There's a lot of um, lots, love. Lots and, and lots. Yes, and, and that helps. That helps me. Um, sharing my journey kind of helps me as well, just kind of give back to others and... and just bring awareness to what it is I, I'm going through and others are going through. And uh, I just thought that's a way to share. Yeah. And, and people have joined and follow through. And yeah, it's. Before it's we went on air, we were talking about this past weekend where you went through the, well, that's it for the hair for now. <laughs> and yes. what was that experience like? Um, it was it, a little overwhelming. Um, I was prepared for it. I had my husband when I found out I was going to get chemo. Um, I had him cut, my hair was pretty long, so I had him cut it to my shoulders, just kind of preparing for that. Um, and then I knew it was coming and my hair started falling out in clumps about three or four days before we decided to shave it. And uh, just having my kids a part of that, they were nervous and my husband um, just, it's their fight too. Yeah. It's not just mine. So this is part of, you know, fighting this together and, and being there with them and them with me. And uh, yeah, it's a big change, but. So when you walked in here today, you said, you told me a few times, my mission <laughs> is to turn the city pink. Yes. What does that mean to you? <laughs> like, wh what is it and what does it mean to you? Well, I am born and raised in Brantford, 45 years old. My kids are also raised here and they're grown adults now. And, uh, I just wanted to spread awareness in our city and bring a good story to our city and show unity and community and, and uh, just bring us together. And there's a lot of people fighting. So just having like the Sanderson Center went pink on October 1st, 
the um, casino lit up their lights pink, downtown was pink. It just shows those little things just show us that we're not alone and together it takes a village and nobody fights alone. So that's my biggest mission is to turn us pink and what did what did seeing that do inside of your heart oh it was amazing it i can't describe it there's no words just standing downtown and seeing the pink on october 1st and then the sky was pink behind it it was incredible it was magical actually mm. and uh i just hope to share that that love and show everybody that you know we have a village and we fight together and we will do this together. We have about a minute. What do you want people to know about your journey for them to take away and go, hey, I, I want to remember this and to acknowledge this. That will be helpful for others to be able to help bring support to others who are, are fighting this fight. I think just mostly awareness and um, making sure you get checked. And if you think something's wrong, you're definitely not too young. <laughs> so just get checked if something's off. Um, and for those that are supporting people that have cancer, just it's hard because you feel helpless and you don't, and I've been there. Yeah. Um, so just, just be there. And when I was diagnosed, my sister said, what do you need? And I said, surround me with love. And that is what we truly need. It is love and um, support and kindness that's, and positivity. That's what we need around us the most. So. Well, speaking as a guy that dressed up for years as Captain Kindness, <laughs> I totally agree with you. Brandy, thanks so much for sharing your story. Thank you. Really appreciate it. You should check out A Journey of Strength, Love, and Perseverance on Facebook, and uh, appreciate you sharing your story today. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with more interesting stories, more interesting people on Brand Life right after this. Mm -hmm.